We got some time in the national political spotlight this fall with Governor Tim Walz run for vice president. But now someone else is throwing their name in for a Democratic leadership position. DFL chair Ken Martin. Valley News team's Quinn Gorham explains why the chair thinks he can lead on a national level. It's safe to say that Ken Martin's workload got a lot lighter after November 5th. The DFL party chair no longer has to worry about an impending election, but as of Tuesday, is now vying for a race of his own, chair of the Democratic National Committee. You have to get involved and shape it and reform it from the inside. And that's why I'm running for chair of the Democratic National Committee. Martin announced his bid to become the new party chair, joining former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley in a run for the role. Martin has led the party since 2011 in Minnesota and has been a vice chair on the DNC since 2017. The announcement comes as Democrats nationwide look to change things up after a decisive Trump victory this November. We need to reconnect our ideas, which we know are popular in red, blue, and purple states across this country, back to our party and to our candidates. My motto is build to win, build to expand, build to last. Martin's run for DNC chair comes not only as a Democratic shakeup is going on across the country, but also in his own state of Minnesota as well. The Minnesota DFL just lost its legislative trifecta in the Minnesota House, getting a tied Minnesota House for the first time in decades. Still, he's confident in his state's track record. Since then, we've won every single statewide election, 22 in a row, and we are the last of the blue wall states still standing. Democratic committee members will elect a new chair early next year, giving other leaders across the country time to build their own bids. Martin was unavailable for interview on Wednesday. In St. Paul, Quinn Gorham, Valley News Live. Minnesota has the longest running streak of voting for a Democratic presidential candidate in the country, though Donald Trump made gains in the state this year.